It's a miracle, Master. My dress, my dress, my fancy dress. I don't know why I'm wearing it. I must confess. My dress, my dress, I love my dress. With
you through the record as best I can. I won't be hard to follow, I promise. So, we begin with a welcome from the Love Struck Room. <laughs> well, I just wanted to thank you all for coming. I tell you, I must be some lucky fella. Why, who would have thought that I, Robert Martin, would be marrying a glamour showgirl, and that that glamour showgirl would be willing to give up a successful career to marry me, Robert Martin. Oh. oh. Now, if it weren't for prohibition, I'd say let's raise a glass. Here, here. To Miss Janet Vandegrift, <laughs> the most beautiful girl in the world. Absolutely not! <gasps> Excuse me? The groom isn't supposed to see the bride on the wedding day. It's bad luck. Did you hear that? Well, that's the plot. Basically. Hang on for the ride. <laughs> Breakfast will be served in the Arabian room. See, it's uh, a little early to be drinking, isn't it? I don't understand the question. All right, look. You just keep Janet away from Robert. You're the chaperone. It's your only job. Well, I'm on Kevin Tobin. Oh, Robert! You're my little monkey! I am! I'm your little monkey! Oh! So, the bride and groom are whisked away, and we turn our attention to the B-plot, which involves the producer. Mr. Felsing! Mary, that lady, you're so Mr. Felsing! Doesn't she know I got obligations? Mr. Felsing! Kitty and Feldzik were a couple in real life, Jack and Sadie Adler. Now, this is a familiar comedic construct, a stupid woman and her long-suffering companion. <laughs> well, the irony here is that, well, she appears stupid, but in the end does something clever, and it makes everyone wonder whether or not it was all an act. Now, what's ironic about this is that Kitty actually was quite stupid. <laughs> yes, it's true, Jack had to explain all the jokes to her. Well, apparently. Still, she had a wonderful career on the stage. Back then, theater was the only place where stupid people could earn a decent living. <laughs> that was before television, of course. <laughs> I don't have time for this. A bad form, Mr. Feldstein. Not now. Perhaps a nice little bitter wrong. Boys, I am not. 